welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a get ready with me, quick chat and I've got 20 minutes to get out of the door so it's going to be quite a rushed one really, just my basics, what I throw on my face before I go out. I'm going to Tesco and Matalan today so it's just going to be the basics on the face so let's get into it. So I'm going to be using the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. I'm going to give this another try because I did review it and I didn't like it. Um, this is F5, the shade. I've already primed my skin with moisturiser and SPF because even though it's raining, you know the deal, the sun can still get to your face. This doe foot is pretty crazy really I mean you don't really need a doe foot for foundation and I'm just so scared that when you take it out it spurts everywhere sometimes and I've ruined so many pairs of jeans with this so not good they need to review their packaging I always use a beauty blender on the daily a damp beauty blender never use a dry one because it just helps the foundation sink into the skin way easier and it just looks more natural rather than it's sitting on top of the skin but yeah i'm still seeing people use a dry blender and basically most of the foundation is just going to sink into the blender instead of your skin if you're doing that and you're not going to be able to spread it around the face like i don't get how people do it i always use the camera for a mirror instead of the actual mirror i have on my lap so weird. Okay, I'm just gonna blend on my giraffe neck. I'm gonna see if I can do a Matalan haul today because my Topshop and Zara haul went down really well. I'm going to see if I can get any clothes from there for the autumn or fall if you're American. So I've not got time to be messing around with foundation that I'll have to do. I always try and use their concealer as well. This is the same make, Revolution Conceal and Define. This is in C5 because the number I think matches the shade of the foundation. So F5 and then this is C5. Yeah, I just feel like if you use the same concealer and foundation, the formula is gonna pair well together. You know what I mean? God, you know, just, I just can't work with this concealer. I just feel like it makes my dark circles look worse. I know you're supposed to go under the dark circle. You know, like you, you're supposed to do the actual shadow. But it just feels like it doesn't actually cover it. I just want to put my face up, but when I go down, mm -mm. I can't rave about this blush enough. It's the L'Oreal Life's a peach blush. I'm reaching for this out of all my blushes. I've probably got about eight blushes at the moment. And this smells divine. Oh, it's like, I'm really bad at describing makeup scents because it does smell artificial, obviously, but it's kind of like peach, it's peach. What an idiot, it's called Life's a Peach, Emma. It just makes you look so glowy and fresh and girly. I'm gonna set my face today only because I'm sweating. The sun's coming out, like it's October, what are you doing? Not that I'm complaining. I'm just gonna set with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light. This is really expensive and not worth the money. I'm just trying to use it up now. I feel like you can't even tell that it's on your face. But everyone raves about it, so maybe that's why. Maybe it's supposed to be natural. Get rid of the creases on the eyes before you set. Otherwise, you're gonna lock those creases in place. You can use a blender or your finger for that. Ugh, sweaty lip. I like to quickly curl my eyelashes. I like to get right to the root just so it pinches the skin a bit because I feel like that gives you the best curl. I wore Russian lashes for most of this year which are individual lashes that you get put on by a professional. And my lashes I feel like have only just recovered. I thought that it didn't damage them but I think the weight of them pushed them down a bit so that they can't stand up right and they don't look curly at all so it's been like four months now and they've just got back to how they usually were using the collection lash surge mascara Soph does nails mentioned this and I thought a collection mascara can't be that good they're like four pounds and oh my god it replaced my usual max factor false lash effect mascara and it is absolutely gorgeous what makes me sad is everyone raves about the Benefit mascaras, but every single one of them 
leaves smudge marks under my eyes after a few hours. And I know I'm not the only one because it happens to my sister as well. And they win awards and stuff and it just makes you think like, is everyone really loving that mascara? So being mindful of time, I'm just gonna stick to not many coats today of mascara. I always do the bottom, I just feel like it opens your eyes way more. If you do both. Oh my God, it's so hot. Then using the Dip Brow Pomade Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Talk. I've had to use some Duraline to make this formula wet again because it dried out. But it's so good because it means you can use every last drop. So I'm literally, I mean, look at it. Look at the state of that. And it's easy as that, done in 30 seconds. Love that stuff. Always use like um, an angled brush as well. And then my favourite highlighter of all time, the Benefit Cookie Highlighter. This is beautiful. Just using a Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush. JH09. And no matter how much time I've got to get ready, I always highlight. I just feel like it gives you a glowy skin and makes you look healthier and just like you look after your skin, even if you don't. And then my lips are shot at the moment with this horrible cold weather. So I'm using the Wild Rose Beauty Balm from Neil's Yard Remedies. And I'm just gonna shove some lip balm on. And there you have it, ready to go out of the door. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more. Leave us a comment down below. Let me know how long it takes for you to do your routine and give us a thumbs up. That'd be so good. Thank you so much. Bye. Thanks for watching.